welcome back to my channel so today's video is a little bit different I'm sure you can tell by the title as well as the background this is gonna be a little bit more of a relaxed video just something that's just kind of like talking chit chatty updating how I'm feeling so if you don't like those videos just click out right now you can go watch another one I don't blame you okay I just kind of wanted to get on here and as the title says be honest this is not as serious as the title makes it seem but I just wanted to kind of tell you guys if I don't get a video up if it's not because of school why is it or you know just kind of personal things I really want to start being more personal you know lately I know in my heart that YouTube is not something that I was supposed to do for a job um, those girls that do get to do it you know that's awesome that would be an awesome job but I just feel like YouTube's never been that for me YouTube has always been something that I can just be creative and put it up and just look at it you know in the future and look back at it and just have those moments to see in video if that makes sense I started YouTube because I really I was watching these other girls and I am like a nerd when it comes to like video and editing and I never really knew how I just kind of like tried to teach myself and so when I started YouTube it was just something to see if I could do it because I just thought it'd be fun to create something like that so that's why I started it and then as I started watching more makeup videos I got really interested in makeup and I just wanted to kind of make videos about it and as I started making them I got so wound up in other people's video how good their quality was how good their lighting was their background and how tumblr and pinteresty it was and I am a perfectionist so if it's not like that I don't like it like I have to have it perfect and that's the hardest thing is because I've had to learn you can't just get a camera out and just make it perfect and do everything there's so much more behind it the camera the lens the lighting the background how you set it up and everything and so I was starting to get caught up in that everything that is besides the point of YouTube and I really stopped making videos because I was like oh I need to get a video up but like what kind of video do I want and then I was just like getting frustrated with the lighting and then I just kept thinking you know I need to stop making videos because of this certain thing and I realized I used to make videos just because it was fun and I just wanted to start getting back to that and to be able to look back on a video it's not really about like when I see one of my old videos it's not oh gosh that lighting was horrible it was oh my gosh that's cool that you know I look different then and I know what I was going through then and I can see in that moment and it's just so cool to see that just have those videos when you get older and just to look back on them and so that's what I want YouTube to be um and I really it's really easy to get caught up in the numbers to see how all of these girls have so many followers and you think oh well if I have all those followers then I'll be satisfied but you know some youtubers have said when they had smaller subscribers it was more personal and that's what I want I don't want to get on here and be like oh I'm doing this makeup look you guys try it like I want something more than that I want to talk to you guys if you like something I genuinely want to know what you're liking I want to get to know you guys like we are just people and we have stress and anxiety and we shouldn't just there are times where we can talk about makeup and it helps but we should help each other and talk to each other and even though it is over computer you can build relationships with that so I want you guys to know genuinely whether you know me whether you don't know me at all just talk to me if you need help if you need advice I might can give it to you and we can just talk it out that's kind of the YouTube deal that I'm going with I guess another thing that I want to kind of touch on is like stress and anxiety I've noticed lately that I have had almost none or no anxiety well there's been times that it's been worse than others but lately it's just really been good and I've tried to realize okay what has helped it um 
the weather does help it and I know that sounds like so it really affects how you feel but honestly it really does and I think lately I've just been reminding myself every single day if I'm stressing about a test homework a job um, just anything anything money I tell myself what are the most important things in your life and I say okay God family friends and then I remind myself, those are the most important things in my life. So I cannot sit here and attest and this and that. That's not really even going to matter. Yes, you'll get a good grade so you can graduate and get a job. But in the end, the only things that matter are God and family and friends. And it sounds so... I, get, I feel like I get made fun of because really my dream is to grow up get married, have a nice small little house with land and just a decent job. I, I I feel like I've never really said I want to be the CEO of a company. I want to make millions. I want to have a nice huge house with a pool. Like I feel like I've never really said that and that's just truly what I want is just family and just a nice small house and I feel like a lot of people change what they want because of what people tell them, what their town tells them, what they've grown up in. And I want you guys to know that like where I'm from a small town, you would some people would say this is a small town, nothing happens, you need to get out of it. Or some might say it's a small town, you're never going to leave. But whatever you grow up, whatever you feel in your heart that you want to do, that you want from life, you need to do that. So one of my friends, she wants to move to California and me and her, we are total opposites, but I love that about us because that's what she wants. She wants to live in California. She wants to, you know, be in this big city and I'm the total opposite. I never, I could never live in a city. And that's what you have to realize. You don't need to be like, oh, she does this. So I kind of want to do that. Say to yourself, this is what I want. And that's what I'm going to do. You don't need to feel bad. You don't need to lessen your expectations or, or want more just because other people want more. You know, if you want a small house, you want a small house. And I know that sounds like really cheesy. And I hope this is coming off somewhat like it makes sense. But... That's just what I've been reminding myself is that you look at the bigger picture, what is the most important things, and those small things that you're stressing about, having anxiety over, they are just so minimal. They're going to pass just like everything else has passed. You know, you forget about all those times that you stressed before uh, because you're focused on this stress now, but you got to look at you got past it somehow, some way, you're on this day, you're on a new stress and it's going to pass, and it's going to go over, and I just want you guys to know that, because some people can get caught up in life, in college, I can get caught up in college, because I, like I said, I'm a perfectionist, I don't want anything but A's, and then I just have to say, okay, what is your purpose, your purpose is not to make straight A's for the rest of your life, and um, yeah, it's really hard to try to balance stuff too, to try to balance work, to try to balance relationships, friends, and for me, I want to feel like I have given every single person that I love enough attention. And if I give one more attention, it bothers me. And then I think, okay, I need to go. And it, it's so stupid. Like it doesn't need to be that way. But in my mind, that's how it seems. And so Another thing that I would say, um, I guess I'm talking to myself more than I am to anybody else, is to just let it be. I cannot just let it be. I am a control freak. I, if I don't have a plan, then it's out the window. I have to tell, you have to tell me exactly what we're doing, when we're doing, and if there's a free day, there is no free day. It is going to be scheduled out. I'm just one of those people. And so... You know, my friendships are important to me, and I want to make every friendship, you know, the same, as close, and I've just learned you can't do that. Not every relationship is going to be the same, and you can't force something, you can't 
do anything. You know, you just put your part in and that's it. And that is so hard for me. So if there's any of you guys out there that are having that struggle, just remember to let it be. You cannot control everything as much as you want to, as much as I want to. You just can't do it. I will end on this. Um, there is one quote. I am a quote junkie. I love quotes. I feel like I find a quote and I'm like, that is my life. And then I find another one and I fall in love with it. But there is one quote that I love or it might not even be a quote. Somebody might have just said it in a song or something. And it is just fall in love with as many things as possible. And that is, I feel like that's such a good quote because... Um, like during the winter and the summer and the fall, every season, I get this like, I get so overwhelmed because like, let's say the summer, I want to do so many things because I love it. I love the weather. I want to soak up every bit I can to enjoy it. And, um, I think that's a good thing and a bad thing because it's good in the fact that I just try to love everything as much as possible and I know that sounds so weird but I'm saying when I drive home from school sometimes I will go a road that I love and I just sit there and I'm just like I love this road <laughs> this sounds so weird coming out but when I'm thinking it it makes sense but I just want you guys like if you love I don't know going on picnics just embrace that just embrace everything you love because there's so much negativity everywhere the news politics war stress drugs anything you can think of it's negative so everything positive that you love just take it in and just take a second to realize how much you appreciate it take a second to realize how blessed you are how much you have and one of the main things that I want to be is selfless and just humble and I am the farthest person from both of those things but I want to be that I want to care about everybody else and not myself but I'm obviously working on it it's not something that just happens in a day and yeah so just figure out what you love embrace it you know strive to be something and you know just take time out of your day to realize what is around you the bigger things you know little things only last for so long and you will get through them um and yeah that's my little rant not even a rant but just something random so like i said i just want you guys to talk to me to talk to each other leave comments i mean just about anything it does not have to be anything about this youtube video it could just be you know getting to know each other hey do you like this or just something random let's just talk with each other and be something other than people talking over the internet because you know you can actually build relationships and get to know people um before i go this shirt is from charlotte roos and this bralette is from charlotte roos you could have guessed it charlotte roos if charlotte roos could endorse people let them know right here i would be number one I can sell all their products, but that's besides the point. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit different. Leave your comments below if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and just, yeah, have a good day. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!